And there you have it, the sound of the closing bell at the New York Stock Exchange. The Dow Jones Dale stayed relatively flat today. It fell around 100 points. The Nasdaq and S&P 500 fell around 1%. This comes as the Biden administration announced a new plan to drive down the price of gas, primarily by releasing 15 million barrels from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. For more on this, let's bring in Laura Sanicola. She is an energy reporter for Reuters. Laura, thanks for joining us. How, thanks for having me. How did oil companies respond to the president's remarks today? Uh, so the oil market uh, was actually higher today, about $3, um, but the original news that this was uh, part of his consideration uh, came out earlier this week and benchmark oil prices did fall on that news. Uh, obviously, more supply uh, would, would lead to benchmark oil prices uh, trending lower, uh, and that's what we saw earlier uh, today. They've come back a little bit, uh, but overall, the expectation is that uh, if 15 million more barrels hit the market through the end of December, that should have the uh, expected result of uh, decreasing futures prices. And Laura, we also heard the president tell oil companies that they needed to bring down their prices as well. How likely are oil companies to heed the president's request? Uh, it, I'm not really sure exactly how that coordination would would work uh, right now. Oil companies, specifically oil refiners, um, they're running their refineries around 90% of the total capacity, which is relatively normal for this time of year. Uh, and uh, prices are elevated because we do have uh, a supply shortage. But uh, it, 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 in the past, he's called for that, and we haven't seen coordination. And yeah. I don't think there's any um, uh, any likelihood uh, that, that there will be coordination on this, but it's really no way of knowing. Is withdrawing from the reserve the Biden administration's best move to try and bring those prices down? Uh, well, it's certainly uh, his uh, his cornerstone strategy. Uh, right, right after Russia invaded Ukraine, he announced the plan to release 180 million barrels of oil from the Strategic Petroleum Reserves, and it has had the intended effect of pressuring oil prices, despite you know other factors causing volatility in the market. Uh, the extra supply uh, has has had an impact on prices. Uh, and so, so this is uh, what he believes to be the best course of action. And we have seen prices uh, lower as a result of, of the releases. Laura, while gas prices are still down from their summer high, we've seen diesel prices increase recently. Why is that? Uh, well, we are currently in a, a relatively dire situation globally when it comes to diesel supply. Uh, uh, we've been in a global distillate shortage uh, pretty much all year. And in Europe, uh, French refiners uh, are dealing with strikes uh, that reduced output of diesel from those refineries. Uh, that's increased exports to Europe uh, as uh, diesel is the main form of, of petrol for uh, European motorists. Uh, so it's uh, it, it's uh, definitely driven prices higher, specifically on the East Coast of the U.S. Uh, and uh, that's something that uh, I think uh, is causing concern in the market. I know people are really watching these prices, not just for the, the prices at the pump, but also as we're heading into winter and fueling their homes. Laura Sanicola, thank you. Thanks so much.